Hello? What's up? Oh, not a whole lot. Driving home. Oh, cool. It's actually a good time. Yep, just uh, driving. I was actually in the middle of trying to do a uh, a mobile broadcast. I found a an RTMP broadcasting app that works on the phone, so I can put little snippets and announcements and things like that on my Twitch right from this app. Huh. So, actually, I didn't end the broadcast. I don't know if the phone call will have ended the broadcast or not. It still shows my face. Huh. Interesting. The last broadcast app I used actually included phone call audio, so this will be an interesting test to see if your voice is included. Huh. Well... Now's the time to talk about some gaming stuff if it's on your mind. Oh. Well, I was going to tell you about what's going on with... School? Uh, Maybe. Well, not necessarily school. Just uh, trying to find something to do involved with kids. There's a Spring Hill um, day or overnight camp. It's like a Christian thing that uh, puts on camps all over the country. The closest couple are Chicago and Everett, Michigan. So um, I actually have an inn there. Like I have, I know a girl that does it like every year. So she's like... Is that that something that uh, if you were going to do, you'd have to... Like, move out there or something? Or? Yeah, I'd have to, like, live there for a while. Just yeah. over summer. Hey, maybe you could get, uh, maybe you could get some actual internet going. <laughs> huh. Well, I would have to live with, like, a host family, either that or in, like, a cabin. What? So, I don't know. Oh, uh, well. It depends. Host family might have some. I do. Uh, if I do the overnight thing, I I would have to live in a cabin. So I'm not sure. If I do a family, or well, if I do the day camp and stay with a the family, then there's a good chance that I, that I would have internet. Because what families today don't have internet? Yeah, I guess it also depends on geographical area. That's true. So. For some internet, even if uh, you know it's allowed at said camp or place or whatever, you know some places may not even be able to get it because the service isn't offered there. Yeah. So. Well, if I was staying in Chicago, I could probably just steal Wi-Fi. I guess you know, people have packed so tightly together. I'm sure there'd be some Wi-Fi I could just steal. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. That many people tightly packed together, they probably all have passwords on their stuff. Yeah. There's always that one that doesn't know. In my experience. Possibly. Anyway. Possibly. There is a game that I was looking at. I don't know if it would interest you. Cause you don't have a PC. What? I don't know. I was just talking about my lack of gaming PC. <laughs> oh. Well. Um, it's called Below. And it's kind of like Terraria. Which, by the way, you should play more of. But I don't know if you have a computer that can run it right now. I would let you use my old gaming computer on loan, but I would fear for its life every day because your kids get into everything and destroy stuff. So, Well, my desktop PC has survived. I thought you said that Riley... Oh, yeah, Riley... ...by turning it on and off. Yeah, he... 
he messed with that quite a bit, but once I once I caught on that that's what he was doing, turning it on and off real fast, I I set it so that the hardware button does nothing just by pressing. So the only thing it'll do is turn it on, won't turn it off. So he could press it all day long unless he's holding it down, you know. But, uh, yeah, that I should have just done that up front, and my desktop computer health-wise would be in a lot better shape right now. Huh. And I think if I were to replace... If I were to replace the hard drive that's in it right now and maybe replace the processor, then I, it would be right back up to its original performance level, which was really nice. But I don't know. I'd like to see if there's any compatibility, if I could just take the tower I already have. I know a lot of motherboards... You know, they have to be customizable, and I don't know if mine is, but if I found out that mine is, instead of uh, you know, spending all the extra money on a new machine, uh, I just get some, not overpowered stuff, but just the more powerful GPU, CPU, and RAM to, uh, to be able to use in that tower, just so I'd be able to do a few moderately, like, moderate spec games, you know? Yeah. It would at least broaden my horizons. Yeah. Is below one of those side-scroller 2D-looking type deals? Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's like an isometric top-down view, but there's not a lot about it that's known. I guess it was announced in 2013, and it's being published by Microsoft, so it's only going to be on Xbox One and PC. I see. <laughs> And you play any of the uh, I can't do the whistling it's so loud sorry did you ever play any of the Dark Souls games uh, I have Dark Souls 2 I haven't played very much of it. What did you think of the little bit you played? I mean, I like it. I just didn't have the patience for dying over and over. Like when I first tried it. Was it pretty tough starting out? Like hard to get into? I mean, it's not something that... It's something where you have to change how you play it as you go. You cannot just try to do the same thing over and over again. You just have to evolve your combat, match match the enemy's uh, tactics, if you will. Or is it that the difficulty changes because of enemy levels and therefore the stuff that you used to do doesn't work? No, it's just, I don't know. Like, it's punishing combat. So, like, if you get hit once or twice, three times, you're usually dead. So, very punishing combat. It's not like in Witcher where you get chips down, or like Batman where you get, where they, like, kill you, like, to death by a thousand pinpricks. Like, you get hit and your health bar just drops. Yeah, I was watching Cole Carnage on his Twitch channel playing uh, Dark Souls 3, and it appears to be the same way. He can't, he can't get away with nothing. You know, if you get hit, man, it's a, it's a huge chunk of your health every single time. But then again, you know, 
it appears that way mainly because the the health bar I'm sure it start it, it might start out smaller but I I don't know uh I didn't catch it when he first started it I just saw you know some recently but you know the health bar goes like halfway across the screen over the top portion of the screen it's like the health bar is just absolutely huge so of course yeah you know that's why huge chunks are taken out because the health bar is already huge it takes forever to bring a character like that down but uh yeah i don't know i don't know if it's if there's some games that to me I almost don't prefer them because they have too many elements in them and you just get lost too easy. Witcher 3 is borderline just like that. I mean, the alchemy in that game and the chemistry and the things that you can, all the different potions and bombs and things like that, there's no, like, easing you into it. You are literally dropped in this pool of overwhelming amounts of items. And the stuff you pick up, I mean, you just pick up what seems like an infinite amount of everything. Almost like there's, almost like there's no weight limit. But you just have so many things that you have to try to sort through as a new player. It usually turns me off. No, I'm even having a hard time keeping up with everything and. Fallout 4, you know, here I'm doing this playthrough, trying to level the character up, and, you know, there's several familiar elements, but dang, I am, I'm lost in the sea of all the building materials and uh, various crafting items. And then you go beyond the crafting and the alchemy and all those things, you're, you know, you're, uh, armor and weapon upgrade you have to take into account because that those all take different components whole like a whole nother set of a uh, whole nother set of components that you utilize right Are you still talking about Witcher or Dark Souls well, like a lot of them, Dark Souls, Witcher, Fallout 4, all of them are so expansive. This is going to be an experiment here. I'm about to get out and get gas. I know my audio and everything will continue with you, but I don't know if it's going to shut off my Bluetooth. This goes as planned. You'll hear me but not see me. So, so these segments where I've been doing a stream while I drive and then calling with the, uh, the 40 minute drive because that's about how long it takes me to get home from Midland or Mount Pleasant. So have you had a chance to play much in the past couple days? Do what? Have you had a chance to play with the crew in the past couple days? I played Rocket League a little bit last night. Um, yeah, I'll let you stay up doing that. Uh, too late. Way too late. Probably like three.
holy ton of bug crap on the car. Oh, that's a lot better. I've slaughtered a small army of insects on this windshield, and it looks horrible. Huh. My phone mounted in this little clip here. I'm try and clean it. So, have you heard any news about a release date for Fallout Survival Mode? Oh, uh, I think it's in the public testing or open testing phase on PC. It hasn't hit consoles yet. Gotcha. Yeah, let the computer players suffer it out if it sucks. <laughs> if they can easily make tweaks on PC and then translate those tweaks to console. Well, that's the beauty of that's the beauty of current consoles. All right, guys, I am back. Survival mode looks like it's going to be absolutely brutal and living up to its name. <sighs> so far, the things that I've noticed, you can only uh, you can only save if you're in a in a bed. Uh, no fast travel whatsoever of any kind. Um, have to do the eating and the drinking and all the things that, you know, a human being would normally have to do to stay alive. It's all going to be in there. So. Hmm. Um, oh, a big one. Uh, ammo will now have weight, so you'll have to pick and choose what you want to carry. Based on your style of play. Oh gosh. So where are you at right now? I'm at Anspa. It's a building on campus. Ah. I hear a lot of noise, a lot of people. It's usually not this loud here, but there's some kind of like impromptu event being held like in the hallway. In the hallway? Well, it's kind of like a, I don't know. It's weird. It's like the hallway splits. And on one side, it's like a sloped ramp. On the other side, it's stairs. And then it meets back up on the other side. And between those two different hallways where it splits, it has like a bunch of seating and tables and stuff like for people to sit down and work on stuff. Huh. <coughs> 
current students transcripts Smith. 66 credits. Oh, so correct me if I'm wrong, but process to be a substitute teacher is ridiculous. raped every spring. It doesn't matter where I am. Just allergies start acting up. My eyes get all itchy. I'm sure, I'm sure you can relate. Yeah. Um, um, with me, it's more just I get congested. My eyes don't really get puffy as much. It's just I get congested and I have to like hack and cough or some mucus up from God knows where. Who knows where it comes from, but I get a lot of it. Yeah. So I uh, I saw on Twitter that uh, Rockstar announced the Sabre Turbo, and they were having Turbo Week. Um, goes up through, I don't know, I think it ended yesterday with the actual release of the custom Sabre Turbo. And I've got a customized turbo, not a lowrider version, but I've got an already customized turbo, and I think I think I'm going to take that one instead of spending money on another one, you know, a secondary. The only the only one to me that ever merited having two versions of was the Buccaneer. I've got that yellow and purple one. And that one's just gorgeous, and I refused to get rid of it. Yellow and purple? Yeah, wasn't it? Are you talking about the baller one? 
um, I'm talking about my my Buccaneer that I customized before they ever even thought of doing lowrider stuff. I've had that yellow. It's like blue and like a blue with a purple pearlescent on top, and then a yellow on the bottom half. It's a two tone. I've had that Buccaneer forever, and I'm not. You know, I didn't want to get rid of it just because they came out with the lowrider. So I got a second Buccaneer, and that one's the lowrider version. But I'm not gonna okay. do. I'm not gonna do the same thing with the uh, Saber Turbo. I'm just gonna get the one I already have, and I'm just gonna put Livery on it and the uh, hydros and everything like that. I got to see. I watched a couple of videos of people putting the libraries on there. It looks like we got some pretty sweet choices to choose from. But uh, I don't know. I I don't know if they really added any like over the top customizing options that give it a wow factor. It's just like, hey, cool, some different libraries than we've seen before. They do have one called Inferno, and it's the closest thing that you can come to in GTA graphics to what they call true flames that look like actual flames. So hmm. I'm debating on whether or not I want to put that on or one of the other lowrider style liveries with the, uh, with the tribal type lines and everything. I wish you could do a mix and match. Go in there and pick a livery and then slap the Inferno over top. Because uh, I think that would be pretty cool. Stackable liveries. See how it looks. Yeah. But that would look cool. I don't know how much... Uh, reprogramming of their entire system they'd have to do to make that happen. But I think it would be cool, Rockstar, if you're out there listening in the universe. Uh, now, how much longer do you think GTA Online has before it uh, starts to reduce in popularity? Well, I think the fact that they announced GTA 6 has a negative impact for sure. It's going to ca cannibalize itself. <clears throat> yeah, to be fair, GTA 4 did that, or GTA 5 did that to GTA 4 because GTA 4 had an online component not nearly as widespread and used as GTA Online for this iteration. But there was a definite, like, mass exodus once 5 came out. Because they just, what they do, they go on there and they build the hype. But yeah, they, mm -hmm. they've announced it, but I mean, I don't know how much farther they've gone. Um, there's no concept art, there's no, there's no nothing. And I think, you know, if there's anything to say that GTA is still alive and well, it's the GTA, the, you know, the game still sells in the top 10 every month, like all over the world. It's like staying strong in the top 10. It's kind of hard to argue with that kind of success. Yeah. So, I don't know, and maybe people are trying to get in there and boost up their progress because maybe... Maybe you'll be able to carry that progress over to GTA Online for the next game. I sure hope, if they're smart, they will not alienate their players by nixing all their progress. You know, how, how bad would that suck for them? I know I would be incredibly unmotivated if they came back and said, here's the next GTA game, and then they say, you know, everyone's reset at zero. 
I mean, I guess in a sense you could say that that's fair that they that everyone starts at zero. Brand new platform, brand new engine, so everyone's on level ground. But you know, if uh, if looking at the uh, if looking at the forums is any indication, people get pissed off when they don't get their way. And I think a lot of people would be like, "You just stole." Not that they would actually be stealing it, but they would say, well, you just stole X hours out of my life. You know, I, I spent this many hours building up this character, and, and now, you know, it's on borrowed time. How many you know, how many hours of my life were spent building up this character, and now you just nixed his lifespan? Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. For those of you... Is anyone viewing this screen right now? Thanks for joining me on a short little tangent. Time to talk to you later. All right. Bye. I love you. Streamers, I love you. All viewers, I'll see you later.